Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is what you could do in terms of nutrition during exercise. My name is Abuzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. Uh, we discussed in one of our videos in the past what you could do before exercise in terms of eating and nutrition. Today, I'm going to show you what you could do while exercising, basically nutrition during exercise. Let's see. I'm going to go here uh, one by one. Uh, what you could do, doesn't matter. You're going to compete. You're going to go to the gym, you know, for just uh, recreational workouts or you're going to lose weight for any kind of exercise that you are going to do. Uh, you need to follow those five uh, things that uh, basically I have listed on the board. The first thing that you're an exercise you have to do is this, water. Okay? If you are going to exercise, definitely you have to have enough water during your exercise. Because if you exercise, especially if you exercise longer, you're going to be dehydrated. And if you are dehydrated, your performance goes down. Here comes two important questions. How much water do I need during exercise? And how do I know that, that I am getting enough water during my exercise? Usually, if you check uh, sports nutrition books, most of them, they say you need half to one glass of water every 10, 15 minutes. But this is uh, in the books. In reality, definitely it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to give you two signs here. From this day on, anytime you, ex you exercise, use sign A and sign B to evaluate to see if you are getting enough water during your uh, exercise, during your training or not. Actually, the first sign is very, very reliable. Uh, it is the basically most reliable sign that is going to tell you if you are getting enough water. Here is the first sign. If you drink enough water, you know, during your exercise session, by the end of your training session, by the end of your exercise session, your bladder is going to be full and you're going to have the feeling that I have to rush to the washroom. If you finish one hour training and at the end of your training, you don't have that feeling that I have to pee, that means your water intake hasn't been enough. So I'm going to put in here uh, urgent feeling to pee after exercise is definitely is the most reliable sign that you are getting enough water. The second sign is a color of urine. This is a good sign too, but not as reliable as the first sign because lots of medications and some supplements, especially vitamin B2, which has been added to any multivitamin and B complex you may take, is going to change the color of urine. This is how you're going to evaluate from this day on if you're getting enough water during your training session or not. Number two, lots of people when they are training, when they are exercising or when they are competing, they try to make their water somehow sweet. They add sugar, they add honey, they add maple syrup. They say, well, it gives me energy during my exercise. Actually, they are right, but in one condition. If I'm going to put in here, if uh, your exercise is going to be 90 minutes or more, then if you make your water sweet, you feel difference because your blood sugar is going to be stable. But if you are going to exercise one hour, I don't know, four to five minutes cardio is not going to help you at all. And one more thing, if you are trying to lose weight, if you are trying to get even leaner, if you are trying to drop more body fat, having any amount of something sweet or carbohydrates during your exercise session is going to make the fat burning process slower. This is why I suggest if you are trying to lose weight, 
uh, avoid having any amount of carbohydrates or some sort of sweets while exercising. Number three, people ask me, okay, can I have sports drinks or energy drinks instead of my water? I don't want to go with water. I want to go with energy drinks. So I'm going to put in here sports drinks. The question we get, can I have those sports drinks, energy drinks during my exercise? The answer is yes. But there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind how to pick the right energy drinks. Actually, we have this uh, video in the past, so you need to go back and watch that video, how you're going to choose the right energy drink for yourself while exercising. Number four, there are a couple of things that you should not and you cannot have while exercising in terms of nutrition. Basically, it's a big no. So I'm gonna put in here, no. Those I'm gonna list in here, you cannot have and you should not have while exercising. Pops, well, we don't see. Juices, we see a lot. People drink juices while exercising. Carrot juice, apple juice, grape juice, that is absolutely wrong. Fruits. Having fruits while exercising is common to, especially among teenagers. It is common to see that, you know, they do a couple of dumbbells, they put away, they eat banana. And fructose. Fructose is fruit sugar. Sometimes people, they buy and they add to their water. And I'm going to put in here PS protein shake. So in terms of nutrition, you should not have protein shake, fructose, fruits, juices, or pops while exercising because they give you a stomach upset. They give you a stomach distress. That is something that you don't want to experience while exercising. But there is a one single supplement that you are allowed to have during your exercise. That supplement, it's called branched chain amino acids. I'm going to put positive. That means it is totally okay to have this uh, specific supplement while exercising. I'm going to talk about BCA in the future, but definitely if you have BCA, you could have somewhere between five to seven grams uh, BCA with your body during exercise. It shouldn't be a problem at all. So now you know what you could do in terms of nutrition while exercising. We make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't want to miss our weekly video, you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. To support us, you can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.